Junkhead is a anim uh, stop motion animated film. It took about seven years to make. Saw this one on the Canopy app, so I just put it on. Uh, this was breathtaking. This was in a really interesting film. It is about um, uh, hum humanity as a society has uh, sort of evolved to the point where we don't have reproduction anymore. So everyone's sort of like almost a robot. And uh, there, there are like societies that live underneath us. There, there are descendants. Um, some of them are called Merrigans. And uh, we're following a broken body fall, uh, falling down a shaft. And um, for all, all our purposes, we'll call them Junkers because that's what they call them in the movie. Junkers is a robot head and they bring him back to life in a smaller body. At first, he doesn't know what's going on, but when he hits his head, he remembers and starts flailing around and keeps falling down different parts of the subterranean sort of societies. So it's really interesting, all the different societies. The first one's almost like a defender society that like stops things from leaving or going up. And then the humans are at the top. And then underneath that, there's like a cleaner sort of society. And um, Junkers ends up being a robot, uh, repurposed into a chore robot. Uh, probably the highlight of the film because he can't speak and he's like going through all these different little like tasks and weird uh, There's so many weird things in this movie. There's like all sorts of fantastical creatures uh, character designs There's like this weird sort of blobbiness to certain characters. There's like homeless in there too that are like deformed and weird There's cr terrifying creatures uh, it's very realized. There's like a couple of violent moments too that are really shocking even for me even though it's like stop-motion I think this is the movie that uh, Phil Tippett wanted to make with Mad God. Mad God is, um, if you're unfamiliar, it's a uh, stop motion passion project by uh, visual effects director Phil Tippett who worked on like Jurassic Park. And in Mad God, it's like a, a hitman going down into like a depths and facing all these weird creatures. But uh, he filmed it over like 25 years with volunteers and added some live action in there. And it doesn't quite work all the way. But um, Junkhead is just like a blast. It, it just keeps going. It might be a little bit on the long side. It's almost an uh, hour 45 and um, it feels a little bit saggy near the end. But I really like the creatures, the characters. Um, it ends a little abruptly, but I really like this fully realized world and all the different aspects. There's this great se uh, comic sequence where um, Junkers has to get some, some food and uh, bring it back and uh, he gets lost. And it's just like a really grimy, weird, sort of out-of-the-box sort of film. I really like this one and I give it an 8.5 out of 10.